Welcome to the Return of the Jet Report. I am Spencer Ernst. Today we look back at a man who made Lindbergh history. George Faber was recognized this week in a special celebration. This is our feature story. On Tuesday night, Lindbergh decided to honor one of its all-time greats, George Faber. Now Lindbergh's all-time number 54, Faber collected over 1,600 career points and 1,000 career rebounds and still holds 15 other Lindbergh basketball records. Here's what he had to say. There's nothing like honesty and integrity and hard work. And the guy I played for, Coach Larch, uh, no one exemplified that better than he did. Coach, thank you very much. I've enjoyed sharing these moments with you people here at Lindbergh High School. It's been my favor, and thank you very much. On a more personal note, Faber decided to speak to us about the evening. I, I can't tell you how appreciative I am of everything that um, Coach, Coach has done for us here to be able to make this happen. All the administrators and everyone in the Lindbergh district, it's very kind to even think about having my number retired. It's something I never thought or dreamt would ever happen. I just really appreciate everything that Lindbergh's done for me. Well, as I remarked a while ago, he was a coach's dream, and you hope sometime during your career as a coach, you have the privilege of coaching someone like, like George. He was just outstanding in every phase of the game, and uh, he made me a better coach and made all his teammates better players. George Faber was a great athlete. I mean, that's why he's being honored, but uh, you know, he's kind of the top of the list for basketball. Uh, coach Wolfer was really uh, instrumental in getting this done. And you know, everybody knew George uh, Faber in the basketball program. And so um, you know, we just felt it was fitting to, to honor him with this, with this type of presentation. I think it's well deserved for him. Despite the records, Faber has fonder memories at Lindbergh. What's your favorite moment in Lindbergh history? Uh, we, a uh, couple of moments. Uh, one was when I was a junior, we went to the state championship uh, at Keele Auditorium. And the second was my senior year when we went to the state championship at Keele Auditorium. Neither year were we able to win the, uh, the state championship, but those were pretty special times. Now this is the second time that Lindbergh has retired an athlete's jersey and the first time for basketball. Signing off, this is Zach Gersaw for the Jet Report. Back to you, Spence. And thank you, Zach, for that piece. And speaking of Lindbergh basketball, here is our Jet Sports Report. Hello, I'm Zeke Scott, and I'm uh, here with superstar athlete and captain of the basketball team, Cole Bisher. How do you feel about uh, how the season's going so far? Um, well, definitely I feel that we're a lot better than what our record shows right now. Uh, we definitely got the potential to turn the season around. What are the biggest strengths of uh, this year's squad? Uh, as a whole team, I feel we're pretty athletic compared to a lot of the teams we play. I feel we can shoot the ball. A lot of fans out there uh, want to know what's, what are you thinking. Uh, do you have anything to say to your fans? Uh, basically, just show up to all the games. we got a game Thursday and Friday night. It's our first uh, Lindbergh tournament this year. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. There's a dunk contest, a three-point contest. We just need a lot of fans to show up to it. Hi, I'm Jackie Reed, and I'm here with Amy Baracco, captain of the girls' varsity basketball team. Amy, how do you feel about the success of your basketball team this year? I'm very ex excited about the success of our basketball team this year. No one expected us to do this well, and I want to continue to surprise people. How do you think you're going to do against Marquette on Friday? We handled them once earlier this season pretty well, so I think we can do it one more time. When your team goes to districts, how do you think it's going to turn out? Um, we're the favorites as of right now, so I think we can bring the Flyers a district championship. Morning. Good morning. Do you have your driver's license proof insurance? Yeah. Thank you. 
I notice you guys aren't wearing your seat belts. You know, I could give you a ticket for this, Nick. But I think you'll remember this a little better. Ah! So remember, if you're going to be driving in the streets, you better buckle up or knuckle up. And that does it for this Thursday's edition of the Jet Report. I am Spencer Ernst. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for a special look at what I have been up to at Mizzou. Have a great day.